All right, guys, we're going to continue on here. Uh, this video, we're going to do removal of the gear case cover, the camshafts, the support plate, and the lifter blocks. Uh, pretty simple procedures here, too. I'm going to go ahead and crack these loose. All right, so we're exposed here. <coughs> All right, we're going to continue on and we're going to uh, be intentional on our storage here. So what you're going to see is that uh, I've got baggies here for rear exhaust and rear <coughs> intake. And we're going to take and just take a, a magnet here. We're going to pull this uh, lifter out. And then I want to make sure, just put it in a baggie. I'm not worried about it right now. I just don't want to mix these up because there's wear patterns from where they rode inside the uh, engine. Make sense? Okay, so our lifters are out of place. Now we can continue to focus in down here. Our goal now is to get this cam support plate apart. And I just want to point out a couple of different things that are on here. This is our crankshaft drive. And this is what's going to drive one camshaft and you're going to see that there's another chain behind here which drives the other camshaft hence the twin cam of the of design this tensioner here is like we've seen our metric motors where that's a wear item this heavy duty spring pushes that as this pad wears and as the chain stretches this holds tension on there so it won't flop around we need to relieve that so that we can take this off and not stress the assembly i'll show you though what the factory service manual is going to have me do so I'm going to take and have a few different specialty tools here. Let's go ahead and uh, look at this guy here. You can see that a couple different sets of teeth on here. Yep. Instead of having to worry about uh, hurting any of this valve train or stretching this, if these bolts say they had the wrong Loctite or they were on here over tightened or whatnot, by me trying to turn this, it's, it's, I could take the chance that I'm going to put a lot of pressure against this shoe or against this valve train or this guide, I really don't want to do that unnecessarily. So what I'm going to do is I can take this, and this is uh, labeled here, and I can just rotate this around, <coughs> okay? So now those two gears are locked in place and I wouldn't have to use an impact. And I could go back to the idea of just hand tools. different more specialty tools. What I'm going to attempt to do is I need to get this retainer into this hole right here. So I want to line those up. So what I have is I have this socket on here. And this out of the way. <coughs> Put that in like so. And do you see how it just took the tension off the chain? Yep. Really, really simple. There was next to no effort. There's another one of these on the inside that you'll see if you were disassembling it completely. All right, so we're making some progress. At this point here, I should be able to pull this back out, take my specialty tool. I'm just going to set it to the side right now. and line these up. I'm using that casted mark to kind of aid me in what this looks like. Why am I touching this chain? Just put a little tension on just in case it could jump time. That's more of a concern on our metric motors. It, we, this chain's very short, so it's really not an issue on this, but it's heavy, right? There we go. So this is actually, we don't have to do this on disassembly. I'm just pointing it out right now for you guys to notice that those timing marks exist. Make sense? Now what we do need to do, make a paint mark. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull these off as an assembly. Try not to drop them off. 
I'd like to pause and recommend here that if you don't have a strong mechanical background or you're you're just starting to learn or take on these skill sets, please see our playlist, uh, Every Mechanic Should Know, for just a great bunch of videos on the common things that aren't found in service manuals. This is where you'll learn things about like marking things as you take them off, organization, and install tips. We've got, if this will come off, okay, these, can you actually see the size in here? Yeah. Or excuse me, not size, the markings? So you can get these at different thicknesses. And what that's going to do is that's going to determine the alignment of those two sprockets. The okay. next thing I know I have to do is I have to get this little guide out because it's covering up a bolt. See that? Now the other thing I want you guys to realize is that this will fit either way, okay, <coughs> but it only goes in one way, okay? So when it comes to this, this is something that you have to be careful in what you're doing so that you're not uh, just saying, oh, I can just go either way. This is the proper way that that's installed. Okay, all right, we're down to our cam support plate here. Like I said, a little bit different procedure than we're used to before. <coughs> per the service manual, there's a disassembly set of instructions here for the order that they want these bolts removed. You can see this here. Same thing with the support plate. They're gonna tell us what order we wanna do this. We wanna go ahead and copy that. Rick, can I get you? show you, I'm just going to leave in there, and now I should be able to take this. And I'm pulling the whole assembly with the oil pump out together. Because we're, we're going to reinstall. So now I'm going to tell you something here. I want you to focus in. Go ahead and let you take that one. We're going to focus in here on this O-ring. Okay, you see how it's cocked? Yep. That's probably just from removal. I don't believe at all it was a problem from before, but when we get into assembly, you're going to see where that's really important that that's fully seated. So that is the feed, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, the return for the oil pump. That is super, super critical. So I'm going to take it out right now and put it with the oil pump support plate bolts. Okay. Now we've got a couple other things on, this is a twin cam B motor, back up. So on the B motor, we have our balancer shafts, and then there's just some things that are a little bit different about our support plate. Is we have this guy. Tyler, you won't have this on yours because yours is an A. So this screen right here, okay, is going to filter oil for the balancer shafts. It's one last place to pick up any little metal filings or anything so it doesn't get to the balancer shafts. You see that. 